What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Reen Bean. Welcome to another episode of Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector. The series I started to give you guys a tidbit of what it's like to be a Game Hunter slash Collector. The shit you deal with all the damn time. So what do I got on today's agenda? Well, first thing is first, don't mind that big box of stuff right there. That is, what I've been doing is collecting a huge box of stuff for all my pickups. You know, because like I say, I, I hold on to that stuff so we can do the final pickups for the sunday video which we should have out this coming up sunday i wanted to make sure we got enough stuff but i keep it all in a box in here and just save it so anyways what we're going to do today we're going to clean all this up get all this stuff up on the shelves uh what else am i going to do um i'm hopefully going to get an nes or two out plus i remember uh, a while back miss tiffany sent a couple games that did not work i'm assuming they're just they got to be cleaned uh, a couple good ones you know like mario 3 and whatnot so we'll try to get those fixed up as well as there's an N64 controller in the shop on the ground that I've been meaning to swap the guts on. We're going to get that done and hopefully we're going to fix that Mario All-Stars battery issue. We're going to try at least. So that's going to that's going to be what we're working on today because uh, you got to understand money equals more games. That's how I get these games is we got to make the money somehow because whether it's trade or money, it's all the same to me. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and announce the winner to the vlog giveaway. If you do not know, you have a chance to win this very awesome Majora's Mask pin back there. All you got to do is be subscribed, hit the thumbs up, and answer the question that I'm going to ask now, which is, out of all the games in the Legend of Zelda franchise, which one would you like to, like to, to really see be made into a motion picture film? For me, I honestly, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Twilight Princess. That game... I, I can just, I can picture it in my head. If you had like the same director who did like Pan's Labyrinth I, and have that, that gothic feel, I think that would just be phenomenal. Answer that down below and you got a chance to win. And I think, yeah, I only got one left. So I'm guessing this is going to be the last one unless I see another one that I just set somewhere. Um, this is it right here. So that's, this is the final contest for this. We'll, we might do some other stuff in the future. The winner to this contest is, let's see here. The Salty Pig. All right, that's three words, The Salty Pig. Hit me up on Instagram and we will get one of those mailed out to you guys. Let's get to work. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this right here as I was going through some of these games. Hold on a second. Let me turn this down here. I'm over here catching up on my Bithead 1000. That is a very underrated channel. If you've never checked out, let me get you a panorama shop here. I always like to watch, catch up on some YouTube while I'm in the game room. That guy is funny as hell. He's got a very story-driven channel. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but to hear that guy's backstories when it comes to NES games that he grew up with or that he has memories of is phenomenal. If you've never checked him out, it's Bithead1000. I got to give that guy a shout out. Tell him Ring Bean sent you. That guy, whenever I was going to do my uh, top five NES games, I actually sent him a message. I don't know if he ever saw it, but God, he would just be with, with the knowledge that he has for some of his top five games, I think that would be awesome. But anyways, let me get back to this right here. I had I had to talk about Bithead. He a sip of coffee for uh for old Bithead there. All right, this right here is awesome. Um, anytime that I get N64 games that I do not have, um, it these cost me twenty dollars. These are in labels. Uh, you can get these on eBay. A lot of people make them. These are the best variants that I found. Each one of them has kind of like their own style rather than I've seen some that are just labels. They, they're they all generic. I like these a lot better, but what's good about these, uh, especially for me now, is I can see like what games I'm missing just based off what end labels I have left. And that's the good thing about this. So anytime someone always asks me like what N64 games you got, I got to go to this. I take a few pictures and bam, it's, it's said and done. I don't know how far into the 64 collection I'm, I'm, I'm more than halfway, I'm sure. Uh, but I, I had to mention these. I mentioned these before, but a lot of people overlook them. They look really good on a shelf. They're on the other side over here, but this is something to check into. $19.99 free shipping on eBay. Hell, they might be more, more or less now. I have no idea. Uh, but pick them up. They make the world a difference. So let's get this cleaned up. All right, guys, that's looking a lot better. We got all that stuff added on the shelf. You know, I always tell myself it's not going to take that long, but it always does. You can see I had to actually constrict the Sega Genesis. I used to have, you know, 
three or four games right here displayed. But like I tell you guys before, I always design this game room. That's why you see these display games to where when I need to, I can consolidate them and put a lot more games on the shelf, which is what I had to do right there. I was able to add a bunch of awesome titles. Same with my Dreamcast collection. It's finally starting to get a little beef to it. So let's get out into this shop and see what we can get done. All right, guys, so again, ignore that construction going on in the back. Nothing I can do about it. Like I said, I'm really hoping they build a flea market or like a string of thrift stores, you know? All right, so first order of business, I say we try to tackle the Super Mario All-Stars not saving. I did put a battery in there before, but it was kind of kind of rigged up in there. I'm going to use a different battery, see if that makes a difference. Maybe I got the polarity wrong, and we'll see if we can get it to save. If not, it's a, it's a good tester cartridge for me because I, I know it's cleaned up. And I actually got my um, uh, my drill over here charging my electric screwdriver, so we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way here. I got to get Miss Reambean to paint this table again. It's already been put through so much use that it's, it's definitely not white no more. All right. Let's see. Now, I remember, yeah, I had this battery all jacked up in here. Not looking like it should, and it just didn't work. Maybe I did have just a polarity backwards. I'm not positive on that. I can't remember if the board actually had indicators on this one. And I'm wondering, we'll try some here. Let me get my soldering iron heated up here with some tin on it. All right. So there's that there. The pins are all good. I mean, it plays. I might even hit it with some brass foil again let's get this battery out of here all right and it really doesn't give me a polarity on here that i see i don't know the indication or how to tell how did i have it set I do think I may have had it backwards actually. I'm guessing this would be the positive. But it doesn't appear to be like a ground out anywhere. Hmm. With that said, let's swap this battery around. Let's not, let's not change it. But we're going to change its direction. And what kind of sucks is we won't know if this is going to work until at the end of the video because I don't have a Super Nintendo in here to actually check. To check with, so we'll check that at the end. It'll be something to look forward to here at the end of the video. Let's move on to the next part here. Let's go ahead and close this up. And if that doesn't work, I could be using the wrong battery, but I don't, I don't see why that would make a difference unless it was just a really underpowered battery. So with that done, um, oh, another game that we need to test too is this Star Fox. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what that thing looks like. This was included in that defective lot. I haven't tried to clean the pens or anything or don't know if the pens are the issue. Pens look pretty damn good. But this was listed as defective. Just to be safe and to make sure this thing is going to play i'm going to clean the pins up and i am going to reflow the boards a little bit here and see just to, to eliminate any possibilities of that might have been the issue let's see here all right so we'll find out if this one works as well at the end of the video let's go ahead and close it back up the pins look pretty decent Let's hit them with some Bright Boy real quick, see if it makes a difference. Which it might. Bright Boy is phenomenal. Damn, that construction's rough out there. And pins are dirtying up, so. so they definitely weren't spotless as you can see there we'll clean them up with some rubbing alcohol here 
and call it quits on that one. Alright guys, so next up on the list here, this N64 controller, the board's fried on there, it's just not working properly. This one works great, but it's been chewed up by the uh, by some dog or teeth and child. So what we're going to do is swap the guts on this one, uh, because obviously I would like a green controller versus the standard gray. Uh, one thing that I am going to do, and I don't think, let me see here, these screws out of here. I can't remember if that's, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cord because this cord's in excellent shape. I'm going to save it for another controller of one that is not so now oh I didn't even think about the damn all right this has to go in here since this board is bad we'll have to connect this to that because it's got the green end on there I didn't think about that throw that shit away all right so all oh, that's the the innards of this one let's take this guy apart here get out of here spider I ain't got time for your bullshit all right you never know what you're going to get attacked by that construction's killing me, but what can you do, man? The world's got to grow. All right, let's get this one apart. I didn't even think about the cord end. I'm glad I caught that. That would have looked dumb as hell. But this cord is good, so we'll save it for sure. I can't remember if the joystick in this one is good or not. I gotta. Yeah, the joystick is great. It's like an 8 or 9 out of 10. Alright. There we go. This one, I need those. Where are the spiders all in that bastard? What kind of spider are you? God almighty, you don't look friendly. Let's get your ass out of here. Ah! Fuck off. Alright. So this one is working good, but it has the wrong cord. So what we gotta do is we gotta take this cord out and we gotta replace it with the other one in order to get this right. So we cut this. This is a good N64 cord, which I will save. All right, let's go ahead and get this out. And the joystick needs to come out as well. This joystick, I think, yeah, this one was, actually, that one feels pretty decent, too. Which one feels better? Hmm. I'm going to keep this one. This one feels a little bit tighter. Damn it, I done dropped all the buttons. All right. So, let's, if I'm keeping that, let's go ahead and put this screw back in. Now since I got this open, it's going to be a good idea to go ahead and clean. Oh, wait a second. Do I got to... Uh, no, wait. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm just not thinking correctly here. All right. With this... Um, this is a good joystick. I'm going to save that one. Uh, so with this open up, it's going to be a good idea to go ahead and get this cleaned up. Get these buttons nice and shiny. Oh! Don't fall over. All right, just a little rubbing alcohol does wonders. Make sure all the buttons are nice and responsive. All right, so let's go ahead and lay that guy down here. Oh, wait a second. Got to put all the buttons in. The son of a bitch. The good thing about Nintendo is they always make sure, like, you can't put one in the wrong spot. It's all designed to go in a specific spot. So as long as you match it up, you don't ever risk messing it up. All right, guys. So one thing that I noticed is one of the barbs broke off right here. It doesn't play the most important role. It just holds the rubber on, but I am going to put a little super glue on there and put that back on. Because while being a small job, it is an important one.
and it also catches the receiving screw on the other side which I didn't see till now so hopefully we'll get this lined up perfectly all right guys so I want to give that some time to dry a little bit I don't want to try to get on it too early because it, it might just snap right back off let's go ahead and get these two NES games uh, cleaned up the ones that Miss Tiffany sent in and because I just got a feeling they're dirty they look pretty bad on the other side and that's going to be one that we can test after we get these NES refurbed so let's open these guys up oh wrong bit on that one. Oh, that takes the flat head which I don't have one that so I think the one that I had that was that small broke See, I don't think that one's going to catch it. Yeah, so I'm just going to clean these pins just from the outside. The other one does have the security bit, so we can open it up. And, of course, if that doesn't work, then I will get the, uh, eh, the right fly head, open it up. I like to open them up whenever I'm cleaning them. You can do a better job that way. You're not getting gunk everywhere, and you can kind of see what you're working with. Oh my god so these pins are <laughs> this is most likely the culprit look at those pins right there those are bad uh, but this is gonna be a good time for you just to really see what this bright boy does this stuff was recommended through John Riggs watching his channel and I tried it I mean you get this big ass bottle for 20 bucks and I highly doubt I will run through this in a few years because it's, it's it's a long-lasting jug right here i mean it, it ain't gonna take much so let's see how well this stuff cleans up the pins and what i like it over the brass so that brasso uh it's a corrosive so i mean it's 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 just like using sandpaper just in a smaller amount this stuff um or i mean it's, it's coarse this stuff right here is just a straight chemical you know balance or what a chemical uh polish right here very strong stuff uh but it doesn't it doesn't leave a residue and it doesn't grind anything down. I'm sure there's problems with it that, that would warrant not using it, but that's with everything. But so far, this is about the best stuff that I've used for pins. So I use it for all my pins. Now, in my eBay shop, I actually keep the Brasso for a quick clean. Um, I test everything, but I like to give it one more final shine at the end. So I haven't hit this with the alcohol, but you can already see the improvement on this is tenfold. I mean, yeah, you can look at that comparison of that side versus that side. Now, I still got to get the uh, rubbing alcohol in there, but let's clean up this other side before we do that. And it just eats through whatever coats these pins, man. It does. You don't think it would, and then you're like, oh, God, there it goes, and it's just wonderful. Set these up with some rubbing alcohol and this one will be good and then we'll have to just go in through the base of the other game look they look like they're supposed to now so that's good so I got a strong feeling that one will play oh, that was Super Mario Brothers 3 so we definitely want that to play um, what I'm going to do God I for whatever reason I about dumped that over that would have been a dumbass move uh, what I'm going to do is I want to let that N64 controller dry on that one part. I don't want to mess with it too early. So we will, after I put these together, we're going to clean this one up here. And then I figure we'll start the uh, time lapse. I'm going to go for two NESs. Um, I got to do one for a buddy of mine. I've been putting it off. Um, and then one I will have available for sale uh, on Macari like I always do. Um, I can't remember what I got on Macari now. I think I got an N64 and two SNESs. So if you're interested in any of those, just hit me up, you know, send me a message, let me know. Uh, all right, so this one is, I'm going to consider good to go. So we'll test it to make sure I'm going to, we got to test Star Fox, we got to test Super Mario All-Stars. It's going to be one big ass finale at the end of this one now. Uh, let's see how bad this one looks. look just like the other one I'm sure it's gonna be just horrible oh yeah she's rough that's gonna be a q-tip per side 
All right, so this one is done as well. I'm going to go upload some footage because my phone doesn't hold that much. And when I come back, I'm going to set everything up. And you're just going to see a time lapse of uh, two NESs being done. And like I tell you guys before, the reason I do the time lapses is number one, I like it and it looks cool to me. But number two, when someone buys a product off of me, they can see the work that gets put into it and they know that it's really being done right. Plus, they get to see it tested. So anyways, let's do it. All right, guys. So before I begin on these two NESs, like I said, it's just going to be a time lapse for you. I did want to mention this one was one of my buddies and this one's going to be the one for sale. I still got the one boxed up for the 10,000 sub giveaway that we're going to do so we don't have to worry about me getting rid of that one. That one's going to be coming in due time. Um, from what I know he has opened this up and tried to fix the pins. If the pins are shot of course I got extras to replace it and then we'll be able to test the games that we just fixed. So let's go ahead and get these worked on. Those two are done let's go ahead and test them out you know a lot of people you know might think like why don't you leave them open while you test them you know to make sure that it's good I got enough confidence in myself I don't like to sound big-headed but I have done this so many times as long as it's done properly you shouldn't have any issues and as long as you take the right steps very rarely we'll have to open these things back up uh, so let's test it out this was my buddies right here that he said was not working properly
and I went ahead and disabled the lockout chip for them as well. All right, so that's why it's not blinking, which is good. Uh, I got my copy of Duck Hunt here. As long as your system's 100%, it'll work, usually work perfect as long as your game's 100%. Now, you know, I like to use Duck Hunt because I, I test most of my games on it because it usually remains clean. But every now and then, I like to come and give it a quick little swipe just to make sure no other dust. Because I don't have any dust protector out here for it. I need to use a better game to test it. But, God, I love Duck Hunt, man. That's a very fun game. All right. So, let's see if she'll power up the way it's supposed to. Just that simple. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. Let's make sure the other one's doing what it's supposed to. And then we'll test those games that Miss Tiffany sent us. So that is his. He gets that one fully working. This is the one that's going to be up for sale. Let's plug this up. I use the red as the video. It doesn't matter. They're all the same cord. Oh, wait a sec. I need power. Because I don't have any power in. There it goes. Well, just cut on because I left the power on. So there you go. That's working. I'll test the controllers and make sure all that is good. But that's the proof right there, guys. I make sure I do these right. I don't charge a stupid price like you see on eBay. Like some people will list, you know, a console and they'll say it's refurbished for like 130 bucks with Mario or something. And all they did was put one of those aftermarket pin sets in there. Some of y'all already know I am not a fan of the aftermarket pin replacement for one of two reasons. The biggest reason is they don't work that damn well. I have used them many times and you will have to sit there and kind of kind of fuck with them. Plus the pins are too damn tight. Secondly, I like having all original pieces in the Nintendo. I like taking the one that came from the factory, fixing it, and making it perform just like new. And as you can see, it works every damn time for the most part. There's been rare instances where it hasn't. Oh, that was his game too that was inside of it. That'll go back with him. Uh, let's put that. Uh, oh shit! I didn't even. I didn't even test the games that Miss Tiffany sent us. Hold on, let me go ahead and set this. I'm over here rambling and bitching. Let me put these back in, and then try out. With the Super Nintendo games, we gotta wait till the end of the episode to test. But let's test uh, Mario Three here. See, that one didn't load. See if we mess with it. There it goes. That The pins are not clean enough, though, because it did not load right away. Let's hit them with the Bright Boy one more time. Oh, yeah, she is. Look at that. That is crazy. That game was in rough shape. see if that does the trick there we go that's the way I want it to be all right let's try Super Mario Brothers which we've already cleaned it may need another cleaning seeing as how bad that one was yeah that thing's not one to load oh look at that Ooh, look at that glitching all over the place that's funky all right this one's gonna definitely need another cleaning this is the one that I didn't want to take apart because I don't have a small precision flathead on me right now. I don't know what happened to it. Hell, in this shop, things get lost all over the place. And then all we got to do is put together that N64 controller, go test the other games, and we are good for today. All right, did that do the trick? Come on now. There we go. Right up in the Super Mario Brothers. A lot of people say, there ain't no duck hunt with that. But this is the pack-in version. Uh, I believe I believe you could buy it, Seth. I'm pretty sure. But there was a uh, NES variant that had just Mario Brothers with it, which I have, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up the N64 controller. It should be dry enough now where I shouldn't have to worry about it. <sighs> Set that off to the side. Here is the controller. See how much time I got left on the phone here. All right, we got a good 10 minutes. So we should be able to finish up in that time, hopefully. Let me go ahead and get the soldering iron juice back up because we are going to need it for the um, connecting the wires back. 
All right, so let that heat up and let's assemble. I already cleaned the buttons. Yeah, you're fitting just like you're supposed to. I may have it a little bit tighter when I glued it than I need to. There it went. All right. There we go. Now you're in. So let's set up the bag of the Z button, which that one I did, I forgot to clean. Make sure all the buttons are cleaned. Set you back in there. Nintendo makes everything so simple when it comes to putting something back together. They're, like, you cannot mess it up unless you're just an idiot. Alright, it's going to go back in there. All the buttons feel in place. Now we got to fix this right here, which luckily there's only three wires we got to worry about, which is great. Here is the three wires here, which is the same color, so it makes things just so easy. Uh, so what we're going to do is strip these wires here. strip the wires here and again I forgot I don't I forgot to pick up black tape so I'm gonna have to use the hot glue again which is fine but I need to remember to pick some of that up and then all we're gonna do is just twist these together I really didn't give myself enough room right here that done I'm gonna go ahead and solder that so it won't come undone there we go there's one two to go I'm using these needle nose so I can twist these wires up. I can't grab them that easily. They're so small. So I'm improvising. All right. So that is done right there. That, all I got to do is hot glue the ends. And this controller's complete. I don't have to worry about it. It's in great shape. Uh, all the buttons, the joystick, everything is nice on it. So that's how you do that right there, guys. Uh, we just made a fully working any or super, uh, what am I talking about, N64 controller. Um, so I gotta let the hot glue gun heat up. I'm not gonna worry about putting this back together so you guys can see it, you get the idea. What I am going to do is we are going, because I don't think I got anything else in here task-wise. We're gonna head to the game room and we're gonna test these two games and end the episode. All right, guys, so we're gonna finish the episode up. We are here in the game room. Let's go ahead and pop out. I've been playing Act Razor here lately. Uh, let's, oh, don't be falling. All right, let's try Super Mario All-Stars. Let's see if that switching the battery fixed it for the polarity. Uh, maybe that can, and I'm using my uh, duo, uh, my dual turbo controller. Let me turn that down here. These things are great. All right, so let's see here. Sorry if the camera's all shaky. I, I should have set the tripod up, but I got to kind of hurry to get this video out. Uh, I got to do a bunch of editing, so I didn't have much time. All right. So save and quit. I don't know if it's start. I think it is start that saves it. It should show it right here. All right, so there's the world. Let's test it out and see if it actually saved. Pull the game out for a few seconds. Pop that back in there. And if it doesn't, it's probably, I just got the wrong damn battery in there. I need to stop fucking around and get the right one. All right, let's see. Ah, see, it did not save, so I will get the right battery in there, I promise you. Uh, or it's just going to be my tester. Alright, so let's try out the final game, which is Star Fox. Alright, let's see here. Will she work? Oh, my Super Nintendo's not working. Did I unplug it? Uh-oh, we have no power to my Super NES. 
I wonder if one of the power adapters came out undone. Let me pause the video and see what's going on. I'll be right back. All right, guys, it just came loose down there on the bottom. So let's see here. Power's on. Do I got the game all the way in? Why, hell no. Is it going to cut on for us? Ooh, I see what's going on. It works when that, but when that, it's creating a short or something. That is unreal right there. I think whenever I was reflowing the board, I may have bridged it. So I think that's what's going on. So we'll have to open that back up and see where I bridged it on the EEPROM boards. Because that, oh yeah, see, it's not cutting on. Yeah, it's creating a bridge right there. Uh, that's not good for the system. So we will fix that on the next episode. You got, we're going to look forward to a Sega CD. We're going to get that fixed up. I might tackle the Virtual Boy because I got two and a buddy of mine wants one. So I may end up doing a perma fix on the one that I have. I got one in the Blockbuster case. And then we got some other things to get around to. So anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. As always, hit that thumbs up. It helps this channel out tremendously. Share the videos all over the place. Let everybody know what the hell's going on. So anyways, guys, I hope you all take care and enjoy the rest of your day.